Welcome everyone to GCC Wellness Yoga. It's good to have some peeps here. And um, we will, we'll see where the, where the class takes us today. As always, modify anything that doesn't feel right. You know your body the best. I'm here to give you a structure to follow but you get to use this time as you need to. This is your hour. So I'm just here to facilitate. Always, always do uh, what your body is telling you to do. Back off anything that doesn't feel right. We're gonna actually start sitting. So let's find a uh, cross-legged position that feels comfortable just take note of which leg you have in front or on top because we will switch in a, in a minute so let's just find a nice aligned sitting position with our shoulders over our hips and then if we just slightly lean back a little bit that isn't going to engage our core right away which always is a good thing. You feel your belly button kind of moving towards your spine. And let's actually take a nice inhale, lifting the shoulders to the ears. Hold the breath and squeeze the shoulders behind you. And then exhale, scrape that back wall as you drop the shoulders down. Let's actually take the hands to the mat for the second round. So let's inhale, shoulders to ears, hold the breath, squeeze the shoulders behind you, exhale down and back, scraping those shoulders on that back wall. Oh, give yourself a little side to side, ear to shoulder, gentle stretch here. And let's do it one more time, inhale, Hold the breath, squeeze behind you, exhale. Good. Let's take the hands to the shoulders, let's inhale. Kiss those elbows together, exhale. Scrape that back wall in a circular motion. So we're trying to make as big of a circle as we can with those elbows. Inhaling as we bring them in front of us. Exhaling deep, luscious as we round into the back area behind our torso. Nice and slow and controlled. Good, and let's reverse that. Inhale, elbows go back. Exhale, squeeze those elbows together. Two more. Beautiful. Let's take a nice deep breath and scoop those arms up. All the way up. Beautiful. Oh yes, hello, we have another joining us. Let's just lengthen here for a minute. So let's root the sits bones down into the ground, drop the scapulas down the back, but then still lift out of the waist. See if you can stretch those arms to the ears so it's slightly behind the face. Hold and breathe here, finding the length in the waist, finding the length underneath the armpits. Lean back slightly, just like an inch. See how that engages your core. Beautiful. We're gonna inhale together through the nose and then we're gonna exhale and reach forward towards the camera, towards the, the, the TV or whatever the laptop is that you're using and release over. Just relax into this. This is probably my number one favorite stretch right here. Just breathe. Mm. 
So while we're here, let's spend a little time just kind of putting our attention into our body. Let's see if we can actually root and scoop the pelvis down into the ground a little bit more and then create a deeper curve in the lower spine by lifting the belly button towards the towards the spine, engaging the core. Walk the fingertips forward a few inches. See if you can release into the exhale and allow gravity to just drop you down a little further. Take deep breaths in through the nose and deep breaths out through the nose. If you want to use your ujjayi breathing, which is that soft kind of hissing sound on the exhale by closing the back of the throat slightly as you exhale, gives you a little bit more control. Let's take the left hand to the center of the head Keeping the head down, sweep the right hand to the right, all the way behind you. Take your nose to your right knee. Now, spend some attention, put some attention to your left hip. See if you can really pull it down. And now sweep the right hand to the center of the head, keeping the head down. Sweep the left hand to behind the torso. Using those hands on the ground to tr as traction, pull your nose to your left knee, keep that right hip rooted. And sweep the hands back and walking the fingertips slowly back up towards the legs. Let's come all the way back to sitting. Oh yeah. And let's extend the legs for a second, just shake them out. Maybe give them a little a massage, a little gentle kind of squeeze, shake the muscle off the bone. And let's just take a nice inhale, sweeping the arms up here. Feet are flexed. We're gonna inhale. On the exhale, we're gonna come forward about six inches. Hold here. Lengthen through the top of the head. Lengthen the sits bones into the floor. Reach through the top of the head, through the fingertips. Inhale. Exhale, release over those legs. Just breathe here for a minute. Big, long, three count breath. Big, long, three count, exhale. And if you want, you can just do a little gentle sort of side to side wave here, heavy head. And as you do that side to side wave, let's walk the hands back up towards the pelvis. Last thing to come up is the head. And let's recross with the opposite leg on top or in front. Before we do our forward curve, let's just pull the belly button towards that back spine and come into a little contraction with our chin to our chest. And now let's inhale and using our hands against our knees, let's arch and look up. Pull those shoulders down, send the chin all the way to the ceiling. Exhale, contract back. Inhale, arch, look up. Continue in your own time. and come to neutral. And then let's just add a little side action here. So let's get a little like we're, like we're stirring up a KitchenAid or well, we are a KitchenAid. <laughs> let's just kind of do a little rib cage circle, side, front, side, back, side, front, side, 
back and let's try the other direction. This should feel like a self massage. Beautiful. All right, coming back to neutral. Get those shoulders aligned right on top of the pelvis. Inhale, sweep the arms up, drop the shoulders. Lengthen, lengthen, lengthen here. Inhale, exhale forward, lean all the way over those legs. Hands come down to the ground, release the chin to the chest and enjoy. Putting our attention into our pelvis, root the hips equally back. Lift the belly button towards the spine. See if the top of the head can get a little bit closer to the ground. Keeping the head down, sweep the left hand behind your torso. Use the hands on the ground to pull your nose to your knee. Send extra rooting to energy down to that right hip. Feel how that automatically just gives you that deeper stretch in the lower right back. And then switch sides. Left hand comes forward, right hand comes back behind the pelvis. Forehead to knee, energy, pulling that left hip down and back. And back to center. And walking those hands slowly, 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 so we don't get too dizzy all the way back up. Good, let's unhook the legs, give them another little shake out. And let's do a couple more side stretches before we use our strap. So we're gonna bring our right foot to the center of our pelvis, if you wanna keep it a little bit more in front of you, do whatever is comfortable. We're gonna flex that left foot, left hand to the ground behind our leg. Inhale, right arm comes up. Exhale, walk the hand along the mat towards the flexed foot. If you can get to the ankle, grab the ankle. If you can get to the toes, you can even weave your two fingers through that big toe. We're gonna see if we can gently, gently, gently pull ourselves a little bit closer down, see if we can get that elbow to our knee. And then we're gonna rotate the rib cage and look up towards the ceiling. See if you can send that right knee down to the ground. Ooh, I just got some back cracks. <laughs> that felt good. See if you can drop the right scapula down the back. Open it up, open it up. Reach those fingertips a little further. If it hurts your neck, you can look down. You can also take that right arm behind the back and see if you can get, get that um, back of the palm against your back and use that as a little bit of attraction to open up further the torso towards the ceiling. And then let's release. Ooh, that felt good. All right, other side. Left leg into the center of the pelvis, right foot flexed, right hand on the mat. Inhale, left arm comes up, lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Exhale, walk those fingertips towards the foot, flex foot, grab hold of the ankle or the toes. Looking under the left armpit, drop the left scapula, pull your torso down with that hooked finger on your toe. Wrap that torso up towards the ceiling. Lengthen the fingertips, breathe. If that hurts your neck, you can always look down. Take the left arm behind the back, the back of the palm to the back. Use that as a little traction to get a little further twist. Then maybe even pull yourself further down and release. Ooh, yeah. All right, a couple more things just to get us primed and ready to go. Grab your strap if you have it or your band or a sweatshirt or a towel. Put it along the bottom of your right ball of your foot 
extend the left leg down to the ground. We're just gonna bend the, the foot, sorry, the leg, knee to chest, inhale, exhale, extend. Inhale, exhale. Little hamstring stretch, inhale, exhale. Last one, inhale and exhale. Let's hang out here for a minute. If you want, if you have a bendy strap, you can actually do a few bot mall kicks here, nice and slow, keeping the feet flexed. Inhale as you lower, exhale as you bring the leg up. Or you can just hang out just in this nice, delicious hamstring stretch. Try to loosen up the hip joint. Go ahead and take the leg open to second. Opening up that leg, see if you can keep the left hip rooted. See if you can pull that leg a little closer to your ear. I'm doing a couple pointed feet exercises here just to kind of stretch my foot out a little bit, flexing and pointing the foot. And then I'm gonna bring it across my body and bring the whole leg about seven or eight inches across my body. The foot is still flexed. This is a really good one for the IT band, the outer. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, just root that right hip down into the ground, gently pull the leg towards you. You don't need that much. And if you want a further stretch, you can just sickle that foot a little bit, turn it in, breathe. And let's recover and let's switch legs. Extend the right, put the left foot into the strap or the band. Couple times, just a little bend and stretch here. Check the rest of your body. Don't, let's see if we can try to just work what needs to be worked and relax the rest. Just notice my shoulders were a little tense and my jaw was a little tense. So I'm trying to relax that. You can hang out here or you can give a couple of bot balls, just nice and slow. Try not to lock the knee. You want a little micro bend. And then Opening it up to second position. So the taking that leg over to the side, pulling it up towards your ear, trying to root that opposite hip. So actually engage your core here, yeah? It's your core that's keeping that right hip anchored. And then take the leg across the body. Ooh, yeah. If, I, if you wanna put your left thumb in the crease between your, uh, your thigh and your pelvis, just to give yourself a little extra anchor, and then maybe sickle that left foot just to get that added stretch, the IT band, Ooh, breathe. And recover and let's Get rid of that strap and maybe just let them bring the knees up and just let the knees kind of fall side to side. Ooh. Big breath. All right, let's inhale, stretching the body long taking the hands above the head. Exhale, let's peel the body off the ground slowly, like we're taking a sticker off of a piece of paper. And let's come up to sitting. And now that we're up here, we can 
Just flip those legs around and come into table. Hands underneath our shoulders, knees underneath our hips. Inhale, arch, look up. Exhale, round, look down. Let's add a little movement here. Let's take the hands a little bit in front of the face. <laughs> Inhale, arch, look up. Exhale, round, look down and press into prayer. Just to get a little mobility here. There's Milo. Just in time for down dog. <laughs> We're continuing our inhale in the arch and the exhale in the prayer. And then when you're ready, tuck those toes and come into down dog. Say hello to your first down dog of the class. And let's just tread the feet a little bit here. And let's lift the heels as high as they can go and then press the heels down as far as they can go. Ah, let's just breathe here. Let's do a three count inhale. Three count exhale. And come on down onto those knees and let's bring the hands back slightly. Let's do a half chaturanga here. So we're gonna send the chest to the ground, scraping the elbows along the rib cage as we drop onto our chest and our chin. Our booty's still up like we're making a little worm. And then we're gonna press into the ground and come back. So now we're gonna warm up those arms and those all the way down into our half chaturanga, back up. And through, a couple more times, pressing all five fingers of each hand into the ground. Last time, pushing into the floor. And let's just sit for a second in prayer. If you want, you can take your hands down to your ankles. This is a home-based position as well as down dog at any time during class. You feel like you need to just gather yourself. Down dog or prayer pose or child's pose is your place to go. Beautiful. Let's take the hands back up and actually let's just take that right leg forward and let's hook those back toes and come into like a runner's lunge. Hands are on the inside of the right foot. I like to do a little rock and roll here just to kind of feel myself a little bit before I establish the pose. I'm gonna lengthen through the top of my head and I'm gonna try and imagine there's a thread running down the top of my uh, body from the top of my head all the way down to that ankle. Now I'm going to drop the knee to the floor, untuck the toe, and see if I can come down onto my forearms. You don't have to. You can stay in the runner's lunge. Breathe. Coming back up onto our hands, taking that right hand to the outside of the right foot. Let's actually send the booty back towards the heels slightly. Walk the hands forward, keeping the right foot flexed. Let's see if we can just drape our body over that right leg. Pull the right hip back.
Beautiful. Rock the pelvis forward. And let's just actually, if, you, if it doesn't hurt too much to have your knee on the ground for so long, let's just come up for a minute. Let's give ourselves a deep, luscious arch right here. Drop the scapulas down back. Lift out of the waist. Breathe here. And hands to the mat. Tuck that back toe. Let's come back into down dog for a minute. You can tread the feet if you want. Sometimes I do a little figure eight with my hips. And let's step forward with the left, hands to the inside of the left foot. Rock and roll. My dog knows how to open the door. <laughs> Oh Lord. All right. When you're ready, you can come down onto your forearms. And come on back up if you're not already there. <clears throat> and drop that knee, untuck the toe, and let's take the hand to the outside of the left foot, and then pushing the pelvis back slightly, not all the way to the heel, flex that left foot and pull the left hip back. Take the fingertips past the foot and see if you can just gently layer, lower your upper body over the leg. And then rock forward, coming all the way up, taking those arms. See if we can create a beautiful arch here, looking up towards the ceiling. Yeah, you want to lift out of the waist because you don't want that lower back crunching, yeah? Abs engaged. Breathe. Balance. And hands to the mat. Tuck that back toe, send that to left leg back, down dog. Mm, good. All right, let's walk those feet forward and let's come into forward fold. Shake your head no. Oh, shake your head yes. And let's just take a minute to take the elbows in the hands and just hang out here. If you wanna loosen up the knees and give them a little gentle shake. If you have a block and you wanna put a block underneath you to give you a little support for your forward fold, or even if you wanna just come up, bend your knees and kind of put your elbows on your top of your knees and just kind of hang out here. I'm just gonna spend a minute slightly upside down <laughs> and we want to micro bend in those knees. Release the hands, bend the knees over the toes. Lift the belly button towards the spine. Last thing to come up is the head. Ah. Recalibrate yourself. You want to get a little sip of water. And I think now is a good time to do our pranayama, our breathing. So we're gonna stand in mountain. We're gonna inhale, reaching the arms above the head. On the exhale, we're gonna bring the arms down into prayer. 20 times in your own rhythm, your own time, 20 breaths, whenever you're ready.
three more. Last one, inhale all the way up. Take the, interlace the fingers. Take the palms to the ceiling. Walk the shoulders up the ladder, right and then left and right and then left. And look at all that space you just created. And exhale, arms come down. Good, we should be all warmed up now. Let's just do a little swing, a little swing and a little shift back and forth. <sighs> Good. All right, coming back to mountain. Let's try tree pose. Yeah, taking the right leg into the inner thigh of the left leg. Send that knee back, the right knee back. Come into hands in prayer. Find that focal point. Let's not release and dump the pelvis. Yeah, we want that pelvis lifted, abs engaged. And then when you're ready, you can play with your arms, take them up, maybe clasp the fingers together. Maybe point the fingers up. Drop those scapulas, root that standing leg. I've been playing with V arms lately. It feels really nice to kind of open up the arms to take in some energy from the universe. And release when you're ready, other side. And make sure you send that energy of that left knee back. Tuck the pelvis slightly. Oh, this side is a little bit tricky for me today. Find your focal point. And Try to enter into all of this with a sense of play, curiosity. Yeah, you don't have to be perfect. There's never perfection in yoga. That's why they call it yoga practice. <laughs> all right, let's come into chair pose. Yeah, nice deep chair pose. And let's actually lift that right leg off the ground and tap the toe, exhale up, tap, exhale up, tap, exhale up, tap, exhale up, hold that thigh to your chest as high as you can, and then send that right ankle over the left knee and sit a little deeper into your one-legged chair. See if you can actually take the hands behind the back and do a little reverse prayer here. Send the elbows back. Release. And then if you want, lean forward and see if you can test your balance by just draping your upper body over that leg. If you want, you can see if you can grab hold of that leg. Oh, oh and come all the way back up to standing and rock that baby like you're holding a baby in your arms. You rock that leg and release. Chair pose. We're gonna just lift that left thigh to the chest, tap, exhale, tap, lift, tap, lift, Tap, lift, oh, squeeze that chest to the thigh, and then fold that ankle over the right knee and come down into a one-legged chair. This time, instead of prayer pose, let's take the elbows across the front of the chest, stack the elbows on top, pull the elbows away from the shoulders. 
and back into chair, one-legged chair. Drape the body over, test that balance. Maybe grab the leg, maybe come to standing, maybe rock. And you can always just stay in regular old chair and then I'll in, and just kind of play with your chair. Ooh, good. Nice standing poses. All right, let's come into star, pushing the hands away from the chest. Energy out, 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 out. Inhale, exhale, all the way through the flat back, all the way down to the top of the head is reaching towards the ground. You can take the hands between the legs flat on the ground, or you can take the arms through the legs and using the floor, pull the top of your head down a little further. Breathe. Taking the hands back in front, left arm to the ground, big inhale, open up the right arm to the ceiling. Keep the hips square, don't push into the right hip, yeah? Just twist in the torso. And switch. And back, and let's take the hands to the waist and using our core, lift our torso back up. All right, very good. Let's take the toes out and let's come into goddess. We're just gonna hold goddess. You don't wanna lean forward, yeah? So you don't wanna tip in goddess. You want goddess, the torso dropping right down between the knees Knees are open to the side. We're gonna breathe, pressing the hands together. And let's just straighten up and come into a nice X. Maybe even rise up on the toes just for a minute and then back down into goddess, breathe. Press up into a big X, maybe lift on the toes. Higher this time. And one more time, goddess. We're gonna stay here. All we're gonna do is reach, right? Inhale, exhale prayer. Inhale left, exhale prayer. Inhale right. Exhale, prayer. Inhale, left. One more set. I know it's burning. Inhale, right. Settle your mind. Inhale, left. Prayer. Reach back up into that X. Last big X. Lengthen through the toes. Feel the expanse of your body as big as it can get. And release let's just heel toe heel toe back to mountain and let's just hold mountain for a minute palms forward eyes closed tight glutes and breathe Oh, great. Get some water. Put my hair up. Let's just do a little 
10 minute, maybe not even 10 minute, eight minute flow. So come to the back of your mat. Let's take a nice deep inhale, sweeping the arms up. Exhale, dive through the arms like a swan. Inhale, let's lengthen halfway up. And then exhale, release back into that forward fold. Inhale, walk the hands forward into plank. We're just gonna hold plank. Check in your camera, is your booty up? Drop it, hold. If this is too much on your wrist, you can come down onto your forearm, forearms. We're gonna tap the right knee, one. Tap the left knee, two. Tap right, tap left. Don't move the plank, just tap the knees. Sorry, that was my dog making strange sounds. And <laughs> left knee and back into down dog. Woo! Walk the hands back to forward fold and roll back up to standing. Thanks, Milo. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, dive. Inhale, lengthen, halfway up. Exhale, release, back into forward fold. Walking the hands back into plank, and then coming into down dog. Let's lift the right leg off the ground, and step through, drop the back, heel, come up to warrior one, drop the scapula. You want your heel of your right leg to be aligned with the, bar, the arch of your back foot. Breathe, let's do a little arch right here. Small arch, looking up at the ceiling. Let's let the elbows melt, 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 all the way down. And now take the arms up and over all the way forward, and then let's open up to side, side angle. If you need to put your hand on your thigh, that's fine, beautiful. Or you have the arms in parallel. Bring the torso back, bring the torso up, and take the hands to the mat. Lift the back heel, and down dog. This time, instead of walking the hands to the feet, let's jump the feet or walk the feet to the hands. Forward fold, roll to standing. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, dive through. Inhale, lengthen, halfway up. Exhale, release. Now we can step or jump back into down dog. Then we lift the left leg and step through. Drop the back heel, warrior one, opposite side. So you want your torso forward, your hips as square as they can be. It's not really anatomically possible to get them completely square, but that's our goal. And then we're going to arch. Give me a little arch right here. Looking up, long arms, drop the scapula back. See if you can sink a little deeper. And now let's reach forward, forward, forward with the torso and then open up the torso. If you want to put your arm on your thigh for a little support here, side angle para or parallel the arms, we're looking under our right armpit. Bring the torso back to center. Lift, big inhale. Exhale, lift the back heel off the ground, hands to the mat. Come back to down dog. Let's come into plate and let's just do one delicious 
slow, full chaturanga, all the way down. One delicious inhale into cobra, and one delicious tuck of the toes back into down dog. And let's drop the knees and come into child's pose. Let's hold on to the, the heels in this position. If you can, holding on to the heels, we're gonna lift the belly button towards the spine and we're gonna touch the top of the head to the ground. Rabbit pose. And knees. Good, let's come down to our bellies since we're here. Forehead to the floor. Take the left hand out and let's lift the right leg off the ground and tap the right toe to the ground while you look up at the ceiling. So you're getting a beautiful, delicious, should feel good, stretch of that shoulder and come back. Try the other side, right arm goes out. Tap the left toe behind you, looking up at the ceiling. And come back. And let's just do one back stre strengthener here. I might not have enough room, I'm gonna scoot back a bit. We're gonna inhale, sending the arms above the head and lifting the upper body off the floor. We're gonna sweep the arms along the side and back. And then we're gonna send a nice exhale energy to lift the upper body off the floor a little higher. Hold, hold, and release. Good, let's just come on over onto our backs. Okay. Hug your knees to your chest for a minute. Just kind of give yourself a little circle with the knees. We're gonna do some core, some yogic core, and some yogic glute work, and then we will be done. We're gonna take our leg in, legs into table. We're gonna lift our upper body off the ground with our hands behind our head. We're gonna extend the left leg, twist the left elbow to the right knee, come back to table. Twist, extend the right leg, twist the right elbow to the left knee, come back to table. Inhale and table, exhale and twist. In, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, and relax. Good. And take the legs up to the ceiling. If you can, shake them out. If you need to put your feet flat on the ground, that's perfectly fine. We're gonna do a few breaths reaching up. I'm gonna take my legs in, into L. So I'm making an L with my body. We're gonna inhale, arms above the head. You can do this with the feet flat on the ground. Exhale, reach the upper body off the ground. So if your feet are flat on the ground, you're just reaching up towards the ceiling. We're gonna inhale, exhale, punch a little higher. Inhale, punch a little higher. Inhale, punch a little higher. And release, good. Shake it out. 
We're gonna do one more set of that. Send the legs up or put the feet flat on the ground. Inhale, arms above the head. Exhale, reach. Inhale, higher. Inhale, higher. Inhale, higher. One more. Inhale, highest. And release. Beautiful. Yeah, we can use the breath in a really intense ways to just engage those core, engage those abs without <laughs> whacking our body around. Let's uh, do a bridge. So we're gonna have our feet flat on the ground, palms down, inhale, exhale, press the feet into the ground, lift the pelvis off the floor. <sighs> Let's just hang out here for a minute. And release. Just to counter that. Oh, my love. Sorry. Take the legs above the head. You can stay in L right here just to get the pressure off uh, the back. Or you can actually lift the pelvis off the ground, walk the hands up the back and come into candle. This is where I like to use the camera too because I tend to keep my feet over my head and candle needs to be, the legs need to come right off the pelvis. If that pushes too much weight onto your arms, maybe try walking them a little higher. Breathe. Tight booty. Yeah, you don't wanna be dumping all of that weight into your wrists. So try to hold yourself up with your glutes and your core. And then unwalking those arms slowly back down, you can let the legs kind of fall uh, into the torso. And then let's do an eight count lowering of the legs. Eight seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, taking the right knee to the chest, let's cross it over the body and then bring our palms to the floor at shoulder height, looking over our right shoulder, Maybe put a little bit of weight on that right knee with the left hand. Give yourself a gentle spinal twist and breathe. And recover. Ooh, try the other side. and recover. Beautiful. Let's take a deep inhale and just reach the hands above the head. We're gonna inhale, we're gonna hold the breath. 
We're gonna tighten the face, tighten the wrists, make a fist, flex the feet, tighten the glutes, scrunch up everything, make everything small, tight. Hold the breath till the end of your exhale that you can't hold it any further and then release. And then we'll take about a two minute deep relaxation. And we'll just lower the lights a little. And we're going to come into Shavasana. Corpse pose. And just let the work that we've done kind of course through our bodies. It's still working in there and let's let it just do its thing. Bring yourself back to the room by wiggling your toes and fingers. I like to give myself a little face massage, give my jaw a little bit of a massage around the bottom of my ear. I go back and forth along the front of the ear and then behind the ear. And find your way back into a seated position whatever feels comfortable for you. Easy cross-legged position. Close your eyes, bring your hands into prayer. And we will seal today's practice with a nod of gratitude to ourselves for showing up today, for doing the work today because the work is the thing. There is no other thing but the work. The trying, the effort, the focus, the inspiration. You deserve all the credit for that. The spirit in me salutes the spirit in you. Namaste.